A man's a man for all that. From what is called the Teuton Manuscript. This is not the usual text. Talk about it after I sing it. Hot and gray is homespun gray. A burky, a birchy, it's a lively fellow. And a uh, whale. W-A-L-E means like choice, the choice, like a choice version of something. Whale carries that meaning. Scots word. But though on Hamley fair we dine, we're hard and grey and all that. Gay fools their silk and knaves their wine. A man's a man for all that. For all that and all that. Their tinsel show and all that. An honest man, no near so poor, is chief of man for all that. You see yon perky corn lord, was struts and stairs and all that. The hundreds beckon at his nod, he's but a coof for all that. For all that and all that, his dignities and all that. A man of independent mind can sing and laugh at all. The king can mark a belted necht, a marquee duke and all that. For an honest man's at whom is mecht, good faith him enough for that. And all that, and all that, his garters, stars and all that. The pith of sense and wail of worth are better far than all that. And let us pray the time may come, and come it will for all that, when sense and truth o'er all the earth shall bear the gree and all that. For all that and all that, and come it will for all that. And man to man the wide world roar, shall brothers be for all that. was probably written in 1794. In 1793, Burns was called up on suspicions of sedition. He was working as an exciseman for the British Crown, and he managed to wriggle out of that with the help of his friends. But he had to be very careful with this text, which says, an honest man is above the king. He went to lengths to get it published anonymously. That, that a version of that text was published in the Oracle newspaper in London in June 1796. He sent materials to Peter Stewart, the editor. Um, but that ver that's basically this text, but they had w Whale of Worth printed as Wall of Worth. Uh, a London typist didn't know Scots, clearly, and misread uh, Mona, which means mustn't, M-A-U-N-A, -A, for man, and spelled it manna, you know. So, you know, just a couple of mistakes, but it's it's very similar text. They didn't have the wide world or they just had the world or so. Anyway, what is this manuscript? The so-called Tootin manuscript. Probably should be called the Brad Bradford manuscript. J.R. Tootin edited a Burns edition in 1893, and he borrowed for this a uh, from the Bradford firm. A couple of gentlemen lent him uh, the Edinburgh edition of Burns's poems, chiefly in the Scottish dialect, and in there was a paper on which was written this version of A Man's A Man for All That, without the errors. So it's uh, corroborated. Um, 
The usually published text is the most politically circumspect, worst written, most socially insensitive version of the song. It's still got great ideas, and of course it's a famous song, but uh, Burns went to considerable effort to get the more radical, humbler, better written versions of it published. There was one published in Glasgow Magazine in 1795, um, and one published by Brash and Reed. William Reed was a, they published chapbooks in Glasgow. Published a number of Burns texts, um, which editors have decided to ignore. Um, ha haven't been footnoted since Henley and Henderson in 1897. Uh, 1896, a centenary edition. Um, anyway, uh, these supposedly unauthorized versions, the author wanted them published. And they've been really repressed. And uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I think that's, that's my favorite text of the song. There's things lost to other versions. Burns's early drafts were tended to be the best. And uh, the internal rhyme of uh, his garter stars, it, it pairs internally with better far. Um, really nice effect there. The other versions switch his ribbon star goes with the lord verse and so you just have uh, ribbon star uh, his dignities and it doesn't pop in the same way it does also has well the standard version has a man of independent mind he looks and laughs at all that it's very pompous but the other versions in glasgow magazine brash and reed Thomas Stewart published one, have a man of independent mind, can look and laugh at all that. But this manuscript has, can sing and laugh at all that. Which, uh, when you listen to how it goes into the king, it's very mischievous. The king can mac, sing and laugh. Uh, a man of independent mind can sing and laugh at all that. The king can mac a belted knight. So he's He's going after the king hard there, yeah. Anyway, a bit of poetic magic there that I think is uh, re worth reviving. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to put up probably a couple other versions from Glasgow Magazine, Brash and Reed. Uh, the commonly published text starts this way. Is there for honest poverty that hangs his head and all that? What does that mean? It's just bad writing. Am I right? Uh, the version in, that Stuart published, uh, and this was published before that version, goes, who would for honest poverty hang down his head and all that? At least we know what he's talking about there. But versions from Teuton Manuscript and the Oracle, Glasgow Magazine, Brash and Reed, and a version from a, a Paisley chapbook at least as collated by Henley and Henderson. I haven't been able to track that one down yet. They all start at the farm table and work through the universal brother brotherhood in a beautiful way. Anyway, that's Mr. Burns. Please subscribe to my channel. Be well and stay tuned. There's more treasures coming. <laughs>